Hey, the man took somebody's helmet off. <laughs> but y'all, the man, the man hey, drove hey, the whole team into the end zone. Hey, but you act like Kiki Palmer ain't have an arm on him. Oh, man. Man. Yeah. <laughs> this man here is. This man. I'm with you. Get an old rocket on him, man. Old, old pocket rocket on him, man. You know what I'm saying? She did. Man. That thing, man. Man. Yeah, she, she did, man. You know. Kiki. This man really. <laughs> I, can't, this man, I, can't, I can't even think about no more movies now, man. I'm sitting here thinking back about this movie. I got a, I got a few of them. Um, what you got? Pulled up. I know, hey, shout out to uh, Miss Johnson. I know she would love the little uh, Woodlawn movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah Tony Nathan was, was a dog within itself, bro. Bro, no, listen, I don't even know what we're talking about the birds or birds. Bro, Willie Beaver, man. But, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Have yeah. you ever seen When the Game Stands Tall? When the Game Stands Tall? Yeah, I don't that, remember. It's about, um, what's yeah, that? I see yeah, 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 the program. What's the program name? And, um, what was the name? Uh, De La Salle. And remember they won all them games straight? And they finally lost. And then they ended up coming back and winning, like, championship and all that. Mm-hmm. But it was a cat that was supposed to go to Oregon. The night he was supposed to leave, he got shot and got killed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, Coach Saban, uh, it took us to watch that about, uh, about when you at the, when you at the ball down, yeah. what are you going to do to get back to the top? Yeah. Yeah. And De La Salle won on, like, what? 200 game winning streak or some crazy, mm-hmm. some crazy. Two, two, I think it was like 234 or something like that. Uh, there was 151 consecutive victories and 12 straight championships. That's crazy. That's that wild. Crazy. What about my dog Rudy? Rudy! Rudy ain't <laughs> <Yeah, Rudy. laughs> play that. Man. Man, just for that time, we're going to play. Rudy! The road Rudy! Road. Rudy! Rudy! Man, you tripping, Rudy! Bro. I love Rudy! <laughs> I love myself, but dang You hear this music here, boy, you already know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Check my palm, Penny. <laughs> the Roach with TR. Just trying to find some Mmm. Inspired by quality ingredients and excellent service, Eckridge Bakery has been a staple of Alabamian celebration since 1998. What started as a small neighborhood bakery, founded by Terry and Dottie Smith in Birmingham, has expanded to 10 locations throughout Alabama. Eckridge Bakery offers hot, delicious breakfast and lunch options, in addition to grab-and-go deli items. They offer a wide range of pastries and desserts, including cookies, Walk on Walk-On Sports Bistro puts everything they've got into bringing you game day with a taste of Louisiana. Dig into their mouth-watering, made-from-scratch Louisiana that. dishes or fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh yeah. salads. All in front of 70-plus TVs with more than 40 beers on tap. Watching at home? Walk-On's is available to go. Order online or through the Walk-On's mobile. Visit Walk-On's in Tuscaloosa, Hoover, Montgomery, and Mobile. Walk-On Sports Bistro or their restaurant. Excuse me, do you know how long halftime is for a Crimson Tide football game? 15 minutes? 12 minutes? Um, 18 minutes? I'm pretty sure 12 minutes. I got from the day, man. going on now? in the last 20 minutes. Any idea how long it takes to complete a mortgage application? An hour and a half. Probably like an hour to leave. It takes a couple days. I'm going to go with 45 minutes. It's so cool. Insurance Financial. You can apply for a mortgage. It's a quarter of our time. Then halftime. I might have bought a lot. I might have. Is it Mexico? Yeah, I bought a lot. I might have bought a lot. I was trying to get away from Mexico, bro. I was there for four months. Tax time is just around the corner. It will be a great time to purchase your new home. Jamaica, Jamaica. I'm always down for anything down there. Yeah, anything, man. Go by and see one of our local retailers today. 
J and J Homes in Coleman, Repo Land in Albertville, Oxford Homes in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Wholesale, Summerdale, Daystar in Sylacauga and Clinton, and always remember we have they grow with Memphis and lift the team. What are they trying to say? John Moran lift the team? Go on, but why ain't Levy Melly? Hopefully he get off. What are they they sending that on the dude with the TikTok uh, song. And mama, don't worry. You ready to be gangster? I'm a survivor type of thing. He going to jail for murder. Hmm. We all come back to the roast with TR3. Um, man, have y'all got the, uh, and I know you'd be more on this than anything, uh, well, let, let, well let's go back to saying what we were talking about, uh, about the, 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 the volume of the, the running back's position, um, uh, being, uh, being not valued. Um, for me, and if y'all know, if y'all followed the game, man, they should have been paying guys big time, um, uh, especially when it, when it was the, the, the running back, you know, lead. Right now, it's the quarterback receiver lead, seven on seven type lead. But you got guys like Jerome Bettis and Emma Smith who never made over um, thirty million dollars on the contract. Like how? Like Barry Sanders? Like how? How do you? Those the point. Like Herschel Walker? Like how? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you, you got guys like Marcus Allen, never really seen that type of money. And, and, and we know at that time it really wasn't that type yeah, of money going generate. out there. But when Emmett then was playing. It was plenty of money out there. Like when 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 Jerome Bettison was playing Warwick Dunn, Jamal Anderson. Like that's one of my favorite. Do, do y'all remember Jamal Anderson, bro? Man, you don't know how to hit the dirty bird. Man, I was a dirty bird, <laughs> dirty bird. Oh, the did do on the diddy pop. You know you're a dirty bird. Now, there you go. <laughs> you give him two inches, you take a mile. But um, but yeah, man, you got you got job to fit in small places. Hit people. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, J. Cole, what you think about that, J. Cole? Oh. It's his job to hit little holes from time and go. Uh, uh, <laughs> Y'all the only ones. Yeah, I'm job. <laughs> yeah, job I'm just, hey, but it ain't as bad as what Nephew said. But I don't know what I said. Bro, chill out. Chill up, chill, come on, with your little costume. Chill up. Chill out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. Mm, Not to go I, I, I was there uh, talking about that earlier, looking at like the list of the running backs, like the ones you getting paid. Of course, you got Christian McCaffrey, Alvin Kamara, uh, Dalvin Cook, Derrick Henry, Nick Chubb, and like all those are. I think two out of the five are for sure scat backs. Like Kamara and, and McCaffrey are scat backs. Mm -hmm. now, I think Chubb is more of a traditional running back. Uh, but he catch out the backfield as well. Mm -hmm. Dalvin Cook the thing, and of course Derrick Henry is to me the best running back in the game. So I, I don't know. I, 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 this sounds absurd. If I was them, I would go on strike. But you don't need a running back bet. Hey, I got hey, all running back sit down. But but you but but you know what's going to be that counter is a rookie came in and won a Super Bowl with the Chiefs. Yep, for sure. Like a six or seven round pick. But yep. even with that, like our Fred Morris did the same thing. Like he led the league three years in a row, two or three years in a row when we came in as rookies. Oh, and, he he was on Redskins, right? Yeah, with the Redskins, bro. Like that's you. And they would they, they they were trying to get my man a, a second contract, bro. And I and this is somebody I grew up with. Like we we you know what I'm saying we grew up together. And so to see that go on, I'm talking about I'm a straight A student growing up. Went to FAU, was it FAU or FIU? Um, but he always, you know, he got a big family. I think he might be one of 10 or 11 brothers and sisters or something like that. I like to see that process go on, bro. And I'm like, bro, I know he finna get big money. This man led the league two or three years in a row, and now this man can't eat. Like, they would eat, they didn't want to give him another contract, dog. Like, they, they use us to. There was an anonymous GM that said, I'd much rather draft a rookie running back. Let him go through the five years, and I won't pay him after the five. Exactly, bro. Like, like that's really how they treat us. So when it comes down to, you know, when I'm talking about little league sports, like I don't encourage guys. Like I wouldn't encourage my son to be a running back. I wouldn't mm -hmm. because they they don't it, for the future is not bright for what what you're going to have to do, and what you're not going to get paid. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Like you're, you're the guy to take on the block. You're the guy who takes the hit. You're the guy who got to look for the hit every play. Like you're like that's you. Every that's your play. job to get hit. Like that's I your. Try, I started playing running right back in Pee Wee. That's what? when I knew that that position was. <laughs> but bro, like it, that's for real. I think that that job there is the least devalued uh, when it comes to getting what they owe. Most devalued. Yeah, most devalued. To get them with their old, like, it's, it's crazy, man. But listen, we got to take another break, man, and we going to come right back, man, with the second hour of the ropes with TR3. Hey. Trayvon Diggs, the top 10 receiver. I'm at the top 10 uh, cornerback. Today? Trayvon Diggs, the top 10 cornerback. Walk On Sports Bistro puts everything they've got you gonna into stats? game day with a taste of Louisiana. Dig into their mouthwater, eat from scratch, Louisiana dishes, or fan favorites like juicy burgers. If we go in today, all in front of seven. Uh, we we probably on that list. Watching at home, Walk On is the best. It's gonna say not. Is it top ten on men? On men. Probably on men. Probably. Walk On Sports Bistro or their restaurant. But you know him, so you got over him. I ain't got nobody. I ain't saying the word. I'm just saying what the game says. Jalen Ramsey, number one, 97. I should almost start at the bottom. Denzel Ward shouldn't be no fucking 88. Mm. He, he, he's number 10. He shouldn't be. Mm. Denzel Ward is like that. You watch him? Yes. Man, like that. Tredavious was hurt last year, all of last year for real. Mm-hmm. He's at a 90. Marshawn, 90. Stephon, number seven at 91. Darius Slay, 92. Marlon at number five at 93. Sauce Garden is 93 at number four. Patrick Chertain at 94 at number three. Jair Alexander, 95 at number two. For real, bro? And all Patrick is probably the best right I'm about to say, I put Patrick up top, bro. Yeah. That's what everybody and saying. that's not even being biased. But it's hard to put, not put Jalen on the one he's probably the most consistent. I mean, but you think about last year, bro, like, really, like, he was getting tried last year. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was not successful. <laughs> I think people, I think people. Steve Brown, what's up, baby? I wanted the bright pages for them all. Tell Steve what's up, Yeah, yeah. Yes, he did. Tell Steelers have brain. Hey, boy, I, I, used, I used to be cracking off. Oh, Trenton, well, Trent Richardson said, what's up, Steve? <laughs> you know, I said, tell him I said, birthday. Oh, happy birthday. I didn't know your birthday. Oh, yeah, 164. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, brother. Yeah. Tell him Willie Earl looking for his ass, too. Yeah, he said, Willie Earl trying to get your ass. Happy birthday. He said, you keep making these damn videos about his nieces and nephews. <laughs> <laughs> Man, nah, you gotta watch his video. He loves taking it to the spit bunny and taking that damn straw. But it be videos of people already folded. Oh, okay. Yeah, but man, <laughs> he said, "What's up, Trent?" <laughs> but I used to watch Steve all the time as a kid. But it come with you. Put that he put that mouthpiece in. Man, them teeth. Yeah. Boy, had me dead on the floor He said Jalen Miro needs to start. Start what? Hey, hey, uh, he went. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. One winning ticket sold for one point zero eight billion Powerball jackpot in Los Angeles. If he do that, though, it'd be consistent with what he do, bro. Because only let the only way Jalen starts if Jalen takes it over and say I'm going that. I say they say he pulling away with it though. Yeah, they should. I like that. But he, but he throw that thing like a, like if we can see him doing it because like, he already got the feet. We saw the man can run. Oh yeah, he can do it with his arm too. But it's over. The greatest Dallas Cowboy of all time. Oh, I'm not a Dallas fan. I'm not a Dallas Oh, and no, uh, it ain't even that. To me, it's Larry Allen. Greatest Dallas Cowboy? He's probably the greatest offensive lineman of all time. But ask about it. I'm going to go with Emmett. Of course you go with Emmett. 
Yeah, I'm answering. <laughs> I was gonna say that. That did sound biased, bro. I mean, PJ. I can see me being biased, but think about it. He's a lead rusher. And he ain't been he ain't played football in over thirty years. We didn't say a all time. I said that the greatest Dallas Cowboy. Hello, I'm saying, to, to me, that's Michael Irvin. But, but, they, but they, they said Roger Starback, probably number one. I mean, Roger did go crazy. I ain't mad at that. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. But then him at number two. Oh, then Michael Irvin. Yeah, that's what I said. Right. I was supposed to say Michael. Oh, that boy Michael was different, but that boy Larry Allen, though. He forced himself. Man, that boy. <laughs> Cowboys. I'm surprised he had the first one after the United Jerry? Jerry, who? I'm saying, when you think of Cowboys. We're we, we talking about. Players. Yeah, I know players. I'm saying. Jerry ain't do this shit. The best time we've been here. Every month we would work for this shit. <laughs> I didn't know why he funny. I'll anyway. be weak. Uh, he funny, man. He's funny. Jamie Timmons. Hey, Jamie Foxx, the movie on Netflix is going to be crazy. All right, everybody said it's good. Oh, it came out here? Mm-hmm. What's it called? Something about Tyrone. Uh-huh. Really cool Three, two. Welcome back to the Rose with TR3. Um, we was just talking about something. I just seen something. Um, oh, Redskins finally us uh, the Commanders. I'm sorry, the Commanders finally sold their uh their franchise for six point five billion. Uh-oh. <laughs> Big name. money. You said change the name again? Why would they change the name again? No, I just, I just wanted to. Yeah. So tell me this. All right, I'm glad we said that about the running back. Say it again, boss. Uh, they, the owner got paid $60 million. Mm. So he got fined $60 million? Yeah. Yeah, said fine. It said something about the investigation they doing on him. Oh, wow. he, uh, he got to pay $60 million for... Uh, Workplace, culture, environment. Is that the new owner? No, no, that's the old one. Okay. So, Timothy, I know you 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 just read off a, a stat that uh, anonymous GM had said something about paying a rookie or picking up a rookie for cheap and not paying him in those five years afterwards. Like, so say we go win the Super Bowl as my rookie year. So can I re? So sh- could I be able to re up my contract right then and there? I would assume so, but with what the GMs are saying, running back to our diamond doesn't, like, they're not valued. Kind of what we've been talking about, they're not valued. So. That's so, that's so, that, that, that's scary to the game of football, bro. Like, come on, bro, you just keep slapping us in the face and letting us know, like, y'all can run all these miles and get all these touchdowns, but I still ain't going to pay you as a running back. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I guess they're saying y'all easily replaceable. Is that how they looking at it, uh, Jacob? Yeah. I, I would assume so. so that if, 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 if all they're saying is after year five, then your, your career is only worth five years. That's, mm-hmm. that's crazy. Yeah, so they figure anybody can run the ball as long as you got offensive line. As long as we handed you the ball, you should be able to run the ball. That's crazy. The gap between receivers and running backs is at $12 million on an average. Yeah. Well, that's a lot to me. And what's crazy, a lot of these running backs play receiver a lot. It's a lot of empty formation. It's a, it's, it's a lot of, what, of o, o 3 team. personnel was, was, or, two, or o 2 personnel where you got two running backs in. Mm. Well, actually, you might not have a running back in. or You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of different personnel where they bring in running backs to play receiver. Yeah. I know my team do it. That's you know what I'm saying? Right like, that's down. crazy. I'm just saying, I, I think the 49ers last year lined up Christian McCaffrey's in the flat. Yeah. Right. He, probably, he played quarterback in the champion, in the Super Bowl. I want to know the playoff game, right? Gee, the first right. round play of the game in the Super Bowl in 2019, 
Like these boys now, they want to. These boys think he did a damn reverse on us, and then they went to the crib. And then they tried to pull on me, and I sat that damn guard down. <laughs> I ate it, and she didn't make it I was very conflicted when I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's I, I don't I don't blame I don't blame running backs for that because it's too many opportunities where, you, if not every play y'all affected. You dog on it affect everything that's going on on that line. Cause you're gonna be needed for the drop the dump off if the quarterback needs you though. You're gonna need to block, like you said. <laughs> you still gotta run through everybody. <laughs> Bro, it, it I, just it, it's crazy, dog. Like I don't I don't get that. Like, how do you not pay somebody who is basically taking a hit every play, no matter what? Either we're blocking, getting hit. Or being a disguise to get hit, setting up play action to get hit. I guess some type of way that we're getting hit on the play every play. I'm not saying everybody else is not getting hit, but like quarterbacks are not getting hit every play. You know what I'm saying like a cornerback ain't gonna get hit every play. The receivers not gonna get hit every play. Like they're gonna catch the ball and they're gonna take off with it if they catch it. If I'm not mistaken, in some plays, you expected to get hit and then get right back out. <laughs> oh, that's every game. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, you got guys, bro, that's, that's, that's big-time running backs that's want to step away from the game because they're not getting what they were for. And, like, how do you keep going? Like, you've been you, you, you've been told as a, as a kid that running back is, is, is your position. So you, you grew up playing that your whole life. Then you get to the NFL and they pay you, you know, pennies or peanuts to where, you know, to a person that's that's not even starting or even playing that second screen, then it's whole, you know, that's been a whole career. He's getting millions of dollars and it's like, well, dang, like y'all just going to keep giving him money, but y'all ain't going to pay me. Like Derek should have been paid before anybody was paid in Tennessee when he was going through his contracts, though. Like, how do you not pay him? You paid your, you paid your quarterback. You picked up a receiver, like, but you're not securing what what, what they made. That's almost like the Lamar Jackson situation, bro, because they tried to put him as a quote unquote running, running back yeah. too. Then they told him to move to a receiver, but they, they, but when you got a guy like Lamar Jackson, that's your running back, your quarterback, and 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 he's sitting up here making big plays out of out of nothing, taking you to the playoffs. Like, how do you not pay him? And he's your running game and throwing game. I got a question. Um, and it's a hypothetical. And before you get into that, they was gonna do Jalen like that. If Jalen was not at oh yeah, the, 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 the Eagles, they would do Jalen just like that, bro. Told him to switch his position. But go ahead, I'm, I'm good. Like, nah, you straight, you straight. Uh, I feel hey. <laughs> and I, I probably struck a nerve, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I can probably see you getting like that still though with the question for the ex. I because I think it's a hypothetical. I don't know if it will happen or not. You probably answer to it too, uh, Reggie. Do you think we might get to a place where that's a positionless position? Kind of like, uh, say for instance, you you got a lot of players mm-hmm. that could probably do like how we said with Debo, or like we how we mentioned with the uh, Lamar Jackson. It has for most quarterbacks, it's almost ideal for you to be kind of a dual threat anyway. You know what I mean? You think they, you think they going it's gonna start moving in that. Yeah, direction. it's already moving in that direction. Yeah. The top quarterbacks in the league are mobile. Yeah, that that see that that standing in the pocket quarterback that, that ain't going. Like ain't that's, going yeah, that's not around. These pass rushes are too good now for you just to be sitting in the damn pocket. Yeah, that's not around no more for real. Um, and it's a couple places who still got them, but you got guys now, bro. Like everybody running the four, five, and four, six now. You get what I'm saying? So they can move. Um, Y'all like the Tom like Brady phase is definitely over. Uh, as of right now, it, it's is not the you know we're gonna get the quarterback that can just you know pass it and just stand in the pocket. Like you got to be able to move. Mm-hmm. Like you got to be able to do more than okay. I'm gonna just uh, stay here in this pocket for so how long and you know um, just throw the ball. Like even with Aaron Rodgers, like Aaron Rodgers is probably the most. Uh, slipperiest quarterback out there for real with standing in the pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he moves he, around. He will get out of there if you play. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he definitely will. And you think about what Patrick Mahomes doing. 
You think about what Lamar brings to the game. You even think about my guy from the Chargers, like he's fast. Oh, uh, Herbert. Yeah, you think about my guy from the Bills, like he. Uh, Russell uh, Wilson. What's my guy from the Giants that you played with, Daniel? Uh, uh, Daniel Jones. Uh, yeah, Daniel Jones. He's fast, <laughs> like. So it's not no no slow guys. They're not doing the slow thing, <laughs> man. Reggie, we're not starting <laughs> this today, Reggie. Hey, J. Cole, man, get your boy, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. What are y'all? What are y'all? Good man, just. Uh, <laughs> they got a, uh, on the, uh. That's how I feel about Kirk Cousins, though, bro. Like, you know how when you watch the sports, you got somebody you just hate, bro, and you don't even know why you don't like the person? Kirk Cousins is not the person. <laughs> <laughs> I bro, okay. I'm with you, bro. Like, I ain't got to be up for Kirk Cousins. I feel, bro. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know. Like, my friend is a big Vikings fan, and that might be what he is. He think Kirk Cousins like elite, bro. And maybe after I watch this show on Netflix, I'm gonna change my mind, bro. But, bro, I hate Kirk Cousins. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? No, Kirk. We don't like that, bro. Wow. I don't. That's that's a. Wow, that's, that's a thing. Right I, I, I wish on you right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Kirk Cousins stealing, man. He been stealing. He's stealing. Bro, you gotta think about this. Agent is elite. Yeah, he got the same dope. agent as Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy stealing lead right no, now. But Colt McCoy ain't stealing. He actually could play. Kirk Cousins stealing. <laughs> I would take Colt McCoy over. Oh, yeah, I would Kirk take Colt over Kirk. But Kurt, man, Coke ain't been there to throw since Marcel knocked him out. He'll take it. <laughs> and first time I met Coke, I was like, you good? You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you better be glad we ain't finished. I said, you better be glad you yeah. didn't. <laughs> you still can't throw. You ain't been there to throw since then. <laughs> but um, I was a big fan of Coke McCoy because I wanted to go to Texas growing up. Mm-hmm. And so, like, even playing a video cool. game back in the day, like, I used to go chew when I – when I was at Bama, I used to go choose Texas because of the playbook, and I used to love Vince Young. But I was a big fan of Coke because everything that Vince was doing, Coke was taking it to the next level uh, in a different way. Um, well, Vince the reason I played for it. Yeah, bro. Vince, bro, the people don't realize how real Vince was. Like, that's my favorite college player ever. Hmm. Like, Vince was a real one. He won that USC game hands down by himself, bro. Like, Absolutely. I tried to do the same thing. Look, good, bro. <laughs> how yeah. you look? How you look, MVP? Uh, I mean, you know, again, uh, we were defeated. <laughs> 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 People was like, "Yo, y'all defeated?" No, we were defeated. We, we didn't. <laughs> Hello, you said y'all were defeated. I just realized bro, what like, you just like, said. Like, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't good out there, brother. <laughs> He said, people like, you on the feet. No, we was defeated. <laughs> it was a game, though, right? It was a game, though, right, Cole? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, stop. We got to take a break, bro. Stop this, man. Stop this. Stop it. Stop it. This madness. But listen, we're going <laughs> go, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, I should have just transferred, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so now you in the transfer portal. Bro, I wasn't going to play quarterback at the next level, but I just want to see it, bro. Like. <laughs> Oh, man, listen, we listen. We're gonna be right back with the church league MVP. He said he should have transferred the quarterback. Um, and so listen, we'll be right back, man, with the ropes with TR three. <laughs> Stupid, man. Oh. Live from downtown Birmingham, the Inspired by quality ingredients, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
Was that the one with his crackhead? No, not oh, Tyrone Tyron Biggins. Dave Chappelle. When he had, uh, he was doing that on uh, that white power. He was doing that cake. Oh, Ooh. okay. I know you no. Um, who was it? One dollar. No, it wasn't no, that, that oh, one. Come on, he, plays, uh, come on, he took his what's cop out. <laughs> he thought he was black. He was blind. He thought he was white. He took out that dollar on the cap. Man, that dude's head exploded, man. <laughs> no, I can't remember his name. Watching at home, Walk-Ons is the best to go. Order online or through the Walk-Ons. Well, you found him. <laughs> Looking for Slam. You found him. Walk-Ons Sports Bistro for their restaurant. Excuse me, do you know how long halftime is for a Crimson Tide football game? 15 minutes? 12 minutes? Um, 18 minutes? That's I'm pretty sure 12 shows. minutes. Actually, halftime in Alabama in the last 20 minutes. So you got guys like you know talking about that. You got guys like Saquon and Josh Jacobs on. Yeah, they, they got a deadline for their franchise tag. Housing opportunity and MLS that close to be done. That's messed up. Josh, we want Tax time is just around the corner. It will be a great time to purchase you new homes. Capital Builders is a company. True, but I'm like, you've been the last top years. If you are in the I think he led the lead last year, right? I don't think it was there. The fact that he can be there. Come on, man. Luxury housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Homes. Sales in Enterprise, Spartan in Summerdale, Daystar in Silicaga, and Clay. Let's quick pay everybody else over there. Capco there. Builders for quality comes first. You all come back to the rules with TR3. Um, Talking about running backs not getting paid for what they're due, Josh Jacobs led the lead last year with 1,600 yards and 53, 1,653 yards. And he had 2,000 yards from, 1,053 yards from the line of scrimmage with 12 touchdowns. Yeah. With 53 uh, catches last year. Disgusting. Like, come on, man. Like, y'all gonna keep. Say it again. Josh Jacobs ready to walk out of hope for last year. I mean, we did the interview. Everybody don't play the same, bro. I don't know what he's playing. <laughs> yeah, like, bro, like, y'all y'all trying that, man, bro. Like, this man giving y'all his, his all. He's letting you know he wants to be in Oakland. And that might be the problem, bro. Letting them know that he want to be in. in it's not, and it's not Oakland no more for the both of y'all. Uh, Vegas, Vegas. Sorry. 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 Go ahead, player. You got it. Let me tell y'all something. I left them in the middle of the night. That's why. <laughs> That's funny, too. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I don't like what you're saying. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. All right. What I'm saying. What I'm saying is, every, every from the time I stepped out there, I was above shoulders. Some players like that, and and they had me. Yeah, I was on practice squad. When I first got good to get to get myself back right, which is cool. But if I'm making every play on defense against your number one offense, mm. and everybody keep asking, well, how you keep making scout team player of the year on that scout team of the week every 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 week? Mm -hmm. I cast on offense and defense. Well, the cast on offense, see what. But my guys on defense, like, how you keep making it every week? It's, it's simple, man. They can't block me. And I never got the opportunity. But they kept telling me one thing and doing another. And then telling lies to my agent. So I had to get up. I had to buck up out of there, buckaroo. Well, come on. That boy was out of there. Man, no. listen, all I know. I called him. I said, bro, you straight? I said, yeah, <laughs> I'm gone for it. <laughs> that man called me and said, man, I'm, I'm in Cleveland. Like, <laughs> <laughs> was that 6 o'clock? They calling. I land at 8 until, I forgot, what was it, Colorado or somewhere, Denver. And they was like, man, what happened? It's in the rental in the parking lot. Wow. Damn. No. Well, you got it like that, though. 
Hey, Trent, man, I gotta give a shout out real quick, bro. Go ahead. You got it. Man, I, this summer, you know, I've been watching a lot of basketball and like, travel with my team and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So we went to a live period for AU. I've never seen a more skilled seventh grader in my life, man. He played, he lived in Chicago. His name is Darius Hawkins Jones. Eventually, when he get older, bro, y'all gonna see him too. I got to see it early. Bro, he's the best seventh grade basketball player I've ever seen in my life, dog. He balling and like he, that, bro. And he got that dog in him. He disrespectful. <laughs> but he disrespectful like on the court, like to the point where he know ain't nobody here can guard me, bro. I can do whatever I want. What's his and name? He's that. Uh, Darius Hawkins Jones. That's his name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send his IG to the church. Hold on. But this, but that's what I want to see. Like I, I want to see the consistency. Yeah, that's And a lot of guys be like that, then fall off. One thing, I had that same hype as a kid. One thing they can't say, I fell off. I stayed consistent from the time whenever I got put on the scene. Like, and it's hard to do now. That's it true. is. That's it's hard, hard to do. Everybody's gonna get better. But you gotta think about it. Have. Yeah, you gotta think about it. So like even with that, like I was talking to Coach Saban about this the other day. He was like, Man, it's hard for us now because we gotta offer these kids early. Like because if you don't, somebody else gonna pick them up and mm-hmm. they're like, Man, we gotta offer a kid now and I knew what he was talking about, but he was like, Bro, it's, it's like it's too early. Like his body gonna change, you know, everybody else gonna change, like he got a long time to be that guy. You know, and, and we got to offer him while he's still in middle mm-hmm. school or, oh, wow, you know, he, like, it, it's tough, bro. Like, yeah, some, like, like, like my friend of mine said, some kids that they peak early, really, really early, and don't even play in high school. Yeah. Yeah. And I ain't going to say who, where the, this cat was supposed to be, my high school, he's supposed to be this thanks and sliced bread. And I ain't, I ain't gonna disrespect the dudes like that, but he didn't produce like he was supposed to. But middle school, he was that guy. Then we started to fall off. Yeah. So, but you gotta stay consistent, man. Like, that's why I don't like that baby grunt cat dad, man. Because <laughs> he ain't giving them no time. Man, your kid have hell to pay. Every time he had to feel, so you on their list, but as a competitor, you competitor. That's what you want. Oh yeah, you want that. That's competitor. exactly what my dad used to do. All my dad come through talking that cash money as when I was a kid. But you know what? The me and the, me and the bomb me and my dad had. I wouldn't say a word. My it's different between my dad and baby car dad. He didn't have me up here doing no dumbass interviews as a kid. Yeah. I let my dad do the talking, and then when we get behind closed doors, he said, "Man." If, Reason I did I, I'm talking like this is because I know you can back it up, and I want to see you back it up. I know what type of kid I got. Mm. So regardless how everybody think about my dad, he would talk to me while he's doing what he's doing, and a lot of parents don't talk to their kids while they doing what they doing. You know what I'm saying? You don't think a, he um, think that uh, his his kid? Hell no! You can tell. You can tell during the interview. You baby girl, you'll say something. No, son. Say it like this. <laughs> okay. What kind of tuxedo are you going to wear? Um, you know, I like blue. You know, the red tie. No, son. Tell him you got a bedazzled tuxedo with the with the look with the fair gummos or the uh, red bottoms. Hey. Yeah, man, I'm going to have it. You can tell you're talking to his kid. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel you. You can tell he talks to his kids. His kids ain't, he, he gonna do all the talking. Yeah. They can say what they wanna say about dads like Joe Jackson. Regardless of how bad he got on their ass in front of the public, I'm pretty sure he talked to them. They didn't have to say a word. Mm-hmm. He, LeVar Ball, well, I don't give a damn what nobody say. Man, I respect I love, the shit yeah, out of LeVar Ball. I love LeVar, bro. I, I love, love that dude, love man. For his kids. Like, he got those kids on the platform. Every last one. Every one of them. And it's taking off. He went two for three, too, bro. League wise. Jello still get money, but league wise, he went two for three, bro. I mean, he might not as well get three for three. Because old buddy, 
And he get down overseas, shoot. I mean, but even with that, like he got his, he still got his own platform. He got his own business. Like that's wild. To set up your kids like that, man. That man did everything he can for them kids, and now they got a bigger platform than almost uh, any TV deal out there with their own social media platform. Yeah. With YouTube, like they, like you think about it, they started the YouTube, you know, mix. Yeah, like they was one of the ones, like as athletes, like they really started that. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm like, with how you do right. you not command a guy like that, bro? Like that man believe in his kids, and he set the ball high for them, bro. And the fact that he made sure that they wasn't coming out talking mess, and he was doing all that, like. He believe in his kids, bro, and he believe, you know, how he raised them. But he said it early, too. He's like, bro, y'all y'all talking about my oldest child, but he's not the best athlete. He kept saying, like, my youngest my son youngest gonna be the guy. Gonna be the, the one. He gonna be the one. And Melo, it, 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 man, he, he's been consistent. He's been balling um, when he's on the court. And he's not, you know, he, he's not making no boneheaded mistakes, man. I feel like, you know, he, he has learned from, you know, all the mistakes that his dad has made, you know, all the mistakes that he has seen behind, around him. And I think that he's doing a great job, man. Man, the man started a whole lead overseas, bro. Well, he started That's here. Right. Oh, he started it here? Yeah, and took it. And took it overseas. That's wow. Bro. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know LeVar Ball played football in the NFL. He was a- yeah, he played for the Panthers, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Played for the Panthers and he played basketball. Yep. <laughs> That's what's up. Like, come on, man. Listen, I know we got to take another break, man. Listen, we'll be right back, man, with the ropes with TR3. Turn our ball ball to the sun, baby. Hee-hee. <laughs> to my ball ball. Oh, he, he just signed the contract already? Yeah, they became so versatile, remember? Right. I'm trying to say like, why do you, why do, we, why they, why they, like when you got a seven footer like that, it's over seven footer, and and he's not from here. Like, why do they keep cutting those type of guys, bro? Man, I don't know. I mean, cause all the, <laughs> most of the best players right now is from overseas. But was was was, was bro, I'm surprised you wouldn't try with something like that after you've seen hmm. the track record. Big feet. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know how long half 
I play this for Crimson Tide football game. 15 minutes? 12 minutes? Um, 18 minutes? I'm pretty sure 12 minutes. Yeah, Actually, which I, which I, which I don't want to talk about. What's going on out there? Any idea how long it takes to complete a mortgage Me application? Me too. Yeah, uh, probably like three hours at least. It takes a couple days. I'm going to go with 45 minutes. Actually, at Assurance Financial, you can apply for a mortgage in less time than half time. Find out more by visiting them at assurancemortgage.com. That's assurancemortgage.com. Equal housing opportunity, NMLS 70876. Call Chase Brooks at 205-212-4046. Birmingham Christian Family Magazine. I right, say my guy, come back in a minute. You're coming back in a minute. You're fine. And it's free. It places... To that, to that, to that, to that, to that, to that. I don't know who that is. Yeah. 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 God is at work in our community, plus local events and giveaways um, like tickets to Barron's in Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Birmingham Christian Family is free to um, find folks to our advertisers. Thank you. You can use their Look service on. if you need them. Tax time is just around the corner. It will be a great time to purchase your new home. Capco Builders is a company who has been building manufactured homes for the last 20 years. If you are in the state of Alabama, go by and see one of our local retailers today. J&J Homes in Coleman, Repo Land in Albertville, Oxford Housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opa, Hills in Airprise, Spartan in Somerdale, Daystar in Sylacauga and Clanton, and always remember, Capco Builders or Quality Company. First. Welcome back to the Rose with TR3. Man, um, you had a shout out before we had left off J. Cole. Who was you giving a shout out to? Hobo. He signed today um, for the Suns. Okay. That's the missing piece that we need. So you think with, with Bo Bo, Kevin Durant finally gave him a championship without, yeah. Kyrie, without uh, Steph Curry? Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and work out how you want to. Um, <laughs> with, <laughs> I think with Bo Bo, it makes the team better. It, it increases the chances of winning the championship. Bar no injuries, because that happens. Um, the Suns are a, a winning team. So, are their championship team, though? Absolutely. So, you go into Vegas right now, you putting money down on the Suns winning the championship right now? They, they, they can get the bread out of my pocket now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. They got a squad. They got a starting lineup. I know that. Who, we, name we, your starting we, lineup. We, we seven deep, bro. Now, okay, name your, name, your, name your starting lineup. Then give me your other two. Brad Beal at the one. Jeez. Book at the two. Hee okay. hee. Now, this one thing gets a little shifty. Okay. Because according to who you want to start in those next positions, you know, it's going to matter. Okay. Um, me, personally, I will go Kevin Durant at three. I will take uh, we lost Toy Craig. I like Wayne Wright. He come off the bench. I think he gives great minutes, plays great defense. But I think they're gonna start Josh at the three, put KD at the four, Aiden at the five. Okay. Mm. Okay. I look. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Now I will be watching the Lakers this year. People are like you ain't watching before. No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I'm a, <laughs> I don't blame you, dog. Hold on, why, like, hold on, hold on. Why you say it like that? Why you? Don't blame you, man. I'm a huge Cam Reddish fan. Y'all know I'm a big Duke fan. Cam Reddish is one of my favorite Duke players. Yeah, Cam. Uh, yeah, Cam Reddish is my guy. Um, look at Cam yeah. Reddish trying to finally play basketball. Absolutely, like let He's that boy off finally. the leash. Let that boy off the leash, man. Because Cam, like, if you even ask the players about Cam Reddish, they'll let you know, like, hey, he is. He just been in situations where he could be it. That is a good pickup for them. Yeah, and then you got um, Hoochie Moore. Hoochie Moore. Hoochie Moore. Hoochie. Hoochie. They got Gates. I'm saying the same thing, though. This was a great pickup. Who else they picked up? Gabe Vincent from the Heat. Oh, snap. Yeah, they got a shooter. Speaking of Heat, do DeMar, I mean, not DeMar, do uh, Damian Leonard go to the Heat? I hope so. But I, 
I feel like they playing. I, I feel like they ain't be. I don't feel like they ain't be playing, but I feel like man, he he almost just like bro, like I can win it where I'm at, and you know if I don't, then I don't. What well, Dane has never requested out. Yeah, he I ain't never heard him say I wanted so a trade. So for him to do that, let the world know, like, okay, you ready? I pick up what you put down, Dane. Hmm. Okay. How would that? Look? I I want the players in the NFL to make the NFL like the NBA. It would go crazy. Bro, what? That would be so. Man. You know, they ain't gonna deal with that. That's too much. That's, that's too much. Well, that's up for Kirk Cousins. I'm tired of that. Kirk Cousins ain't gonna problem, go. Man. I'm gonna go over there with uh, who it is, uh, Bill. Like, you gotta think about this, bro. The first time we heard that somebody wanted a trade or they wanted to go somewhere else was with LeBron. Like, we never really heard that before then. And that's why, I, like. Yeah, well, bro, I think that's the only mistake LeBron ever made in his career. Yeah. Televising that he's going to leave the team. He ought to go to another team. Outside of that, wrong <laughs> <laughs> thing. You say you think that was a mistake? He did. I, do, I, I think. I think the way in he went about it was bad. I, I like. I do. To this day, I'm still. Come on. Bad. I know you're a LeBron fan. No, man. no. I, I, I like the fact. No, the fact that he did it like that because he got. He never got recruited. So he didn't get to go through the signing day part. Yeah, to, to him, it was a college announcement. Yeah, to, yeah, to him, him, like, like yeah, <laughs> to him, that was a college. <laughs> It was looking for the hat. Yeah, that, but that's basically what it was for him. So I was like, shoot, I, you know, it was a little much, but it was like, okay. And, and I see what he was, you know, he like, bro, I never got recruited. Like, so that was my time to, that makes sense. to enjoy myself as, you know what I'm saying, as, as, as a student athlete. You know what I'm saying? To get that little, y'all got to pick up y'all hats and all. I've never experienced that type of mess. Like, that's true. You chose to go to here, boy. I mean, I I appreciate it. You feel me? Especially the extra details and stuff. I'm with you. Yeah, I just I, I can't find <laughs> somebody who want to be a human. <laughs> I, 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 I rock with Brian, bro. Just some Brian fans be unrealistic. <laughs> Oh, you're unrealistic with, with, with KD, but hey, <laughs> let, let, very unrealistic. With KD. I think we should shift it a little bit and let's, and let's, let's do something fun. Do something fun. Uh, right, you better, so, okay, so better pull up that picture again. Yeah, so let's do this. Hey, so you still got Facebook? No, but I can get on it. You got yours yeah. right. All right. Cole, I know you got Facebook still. So this is what I want anybody who's listening, I want, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to go to somebody you was talking to in, like, let's say, like, high school. Oh, no. Nah, <laughs> Wait a minute. I ain't got no, no, just listen. Just listen. My got one. I, ain't got I, just, I just want you to go back to when you somebody you was talking to in high school and scroll up and look at your messages and how you used to talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, I ain't got Facebook. <laughs> I ain't got Facebook now. Well, I, so I, I, yeah, I, I was bugging. I want somebody ex-girlfriend from high school. And she and like we ain't really talked in years, but we just communicated a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. Just I was just catching up, and she was like, "If you could see our old messages from back in 2011, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. funny." So I scrolled all the way up to the first time I said anything to her. Oh wow! What well, the first thing you said to her? <sighs> what you said? Oh, what you said? Oh, I said thanks for the ad. She said, no problem. Man, hold on. Hold on. (laughs) Wait. I got that off, too, bro. I'm not even judging that hard. Like, the first thing I thought you said, bro, was thanks for the ass. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Then she was like, no problem. They call you Tupac, right? (laughs) Wait, what? I said, cool. And yeah, they do. That's my nigga, I ain't be cool now. <laughs> I got you. What's up? Oh, uh, listen, she said, hmm, what should I call you? I said, whatever you feel like calling me. Hey, okay, get oh, spice over here. He started to sweat a little bit she over there. Hold on, get you some of that. She said, <laughs> rated, she said, rated R. I said, no, I'm kidding. What's up, dog? I said, that, if that's, that's how you fine. feeling, if that's, hey, that's how you feel like, do that, then I'm just chilling. Boom, boom. Then boom. Well, and then fast forward. Let them know you six two now. Mm-hmm. So, but this she said. She said I'm having a party Friday. Come please. I'm like where? At? She was like super busy. You should, you should have it in your events. Pretty boys. One wild is the title. 
I said, what if I'm not a pretty boy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, she, was, she was like, it has nothing to do with that, Reggie. I said, hey, I'm just making shit now. She, said, I prefer, she was like, I prefer muscular, armed guys who are smart, rough, from sports. Mm, okay. So I said, that's how it I said, that's how you like them. I can do that. With a little laid back throw. <laughs> he said, mm, girl, so I hate you tomorrow. I said, unless you want the number. You know what I'm saying? I, I got you. Then she sent me her number. And then that was, that was all she wrote. Mm, that's how it happened, huh? Yeah, that was my okay. daughter, though. Still my daughter. But, you know, just the initial interaction. That sh- stuff is hilarious. So, J. Cole, I know you got a story for us. Uh, yeah, I missed the first part of the conversation my mama called. What, we, we talking about the <laughs> yeah. no, I was like, no, I was saying, like, find somebody that you used to talk to, like, in middle, like in high school, yeah. and scroll all the way to the top and see what's, like, your first initial reaction to, like, like how y'all started talking. All right, bro, I'm going to pull up my Yeah, she you ain't got to say her name, because I ain't say the no, name. No, I'll say it. Yeah, <laughs> what you got for us, nephew? Cause I, 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 yeah, because I ain't had no Facebook, so I missed that. I, I missed that whole that. thing uh, of, of the Facebook trend when when I was in high school. <laughs> and I think Facebook was just coming out at that time too. No, we still had MySpace at the time. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, well, oh, no, 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 my MySpace, MySpace was dead. Hey, mama, oh, uh, MySpace, oh. That no, was like middle, middle, middle school. Trey, we, we the same age, Trey. You're not going to play it like that. No, when I, I had, we still had MySpace in high school. Yeah, fact. You just had that top eight. I'm saying I've never had Facebook. You never had that top eight. I've remember. never had Facebook. I, I, bro, I just got on social media when the Lions came around. The Lions League. Mm. And I didn't want to get on the den. Mm. <laughs> and they begged me to get on the den. You know what I'm saying to to help the lead out, but I, bro, I'm not. I, I'm I'm to myself with my with my stuff. I feel like my my life is already out there too much, and I was always scared to have social media because my baby mama gonna beat you up. No, not your baby mama. Kids, mama. I don't like to say the baby mama word. Gotcha. Well, with with the family scene. Exactly. So. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hey, man, man, to go shout, out, shout out to Big, Big J Uso too, dog. <laughs> <laughs> wrestling, wrestling, wrestling really been good, bro. Go, Listen, I get a call for him every other day about dog on wrestling, bro. And like he be wrestling, on point. Wrestling really, really been been good the past couple months. I got back into it, bro. The, 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 the family, bro. The bloodline right now, bro. It's going hard. I'm waiting on them to get back together, though. I feel like they're going to. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. But Word. what they need to do, they need to let they need to let Junior, um, they need to let Rakisha come out there and referee a match hey. with all of them. Or he need to have, he need to come on, he need to come on WWE, and he need to be getting on all they tell. You know what I'm saying? Or in, even Alpha and Secret. And, and, and what's crazy, Alpha and Secret right now, a little, a little spoiler alert. They really beefing in real life right now. So. <laughs> Bro, they family so funny, they bro. They family, though. Yeah, they family so funny. Like, they'll be beefing, bro, and they be like, for what? Kobe! Damn, I missed it. My fault, my fault. Yeah, that's it. It's my left hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, listen. Yeah, what you got for us, nephew? No, I'm not. Take a break. This man, he's shutting his computer. Hey, everybody, take a break. We're going to take a break. J. Cole, we come back. We're going we gonna, to we gonna get into your uh, high school and Facebook. We're going to get into yours. We're going to get into uh, nephew. What's your nephew? You <laughs> and, whatever, and whatever you can find. I am. I am. I am. I whatever you can Facebook. find. <laughs> if, if you got to go to your Instagram My from college. I ain't having it in college. You need to figure out something. Just find an old flame or something. Because I was born with it right there. <laughs> I ain't having it in college. 
Live from downtown Birmingham. You want some the text messages? With no. TR3. Hey, what's up with the light hour, man? What you mean? What are you doing now? Inspired by our community. I know he has something going on with his excellent service. His baby mama and stuff. His baby mama. What happened? What started as a small business owner. Founded by Terry. I want y'all to see. Has expanded Wait, that's going on. Yeah, you already know he has an allegation of doing this. Yeah, that's West. West, and I ain't gay. Yeah. I just like to have fun from time to time. Cupcakes and much more. Made in Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shop for gifts and merchandise. I can't find more items. Edgar's has something for everyone. They also offer catering, shipping, and delivery. Damn shame with these boys. Look what they saying about the white house. Oh, wait a minute, Blair, the black dude. I want to arrest him. Oh, wait a minute, Blair. Same day with a taste of Louisiana. Digging their mouth watering, made from scratch, Louisiana dishes, or fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads. All in front of 70 plus TVs with more than 40 beers on tap. Watching at home? Walk ons is available to go. Order online or yeah, walk ons mobile. Next lecture start the White Howard sued for Andrew assault Hill. and battery by a man he allegedly met on Instagram, accuser using Texas evidence. So basically, he tried to get another dude to have sex with another man that's dressed up as a woman. Hey, Amen. He's a they go to messages. No, oh, Lord, no. Oh, my boy sent the demon. He said, sup, sexy. <laughs> wow, I was a fool, boy. The wow, I was a fool. Boy. He said, damn, why they all down trying to... Hold on. He said, sup, sexy. None you. He said, just starting my day off about to shower on a few dudes. Sent the eyes. But he said, I got you. I said, what have you, uh, what you have planned for the day? He said, you in Atlanta? We play today. She said, "Yeah, I stay in Atlanta. Been doing some uh, modeling here in Chicago. What about you and work? That's what's up. Good looks. Uh, good luck, sexy. <coughs> what's the Atlanta and Philly? Hold on, where the rest of these messages at? Oh Lord. Hold on, where the rest of these messages at? He said, "I ain't gay or nothing, but I just like to see it from time to time. Believe me. Well, I gotta find a message for what I saw earlier." <laughs> Boy, that's, that's a, a wild thing to text. Boy, that's a wild thing to text. I tell somebody. This is Instagram. Oh, he's a deal. Told him, man, you want to have a prison? <laughs> Just blunt. Is this real, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of AI. I ain't saying he not. It's a lot it's of AI. <laughs> Trying to do the bit of the doubt. He said, Damn, you have some blank shots. I don't. He said, I can make you some personal ones. I want to see your big point. Well, welcome back to the road. I went to TR3. Wow. I went to the message. They come on, how much you heard of that conversation? They told. The only part I heard was, Damn. <laughs> Cole, what's up with Yo. your boy Dwight Howard, man? Hey, man, he tripped. <laughs> he wild. <laughs> boy, trying to see the egg plant, ain't he? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 man, I ain't got A. If that's your preference, that's what you like, that's what you like. Yeah. Your business, brother. <laughs> that's what I live for. That's your business. I don't give a damn what you like. Oh, that's your preference. <laughs> with the white power, you are, but, uh, if that's what you like, man, but don't hide it, man. Put it out there. <laughs> <laughs> live your truth. Yeah, live yeah. your true self, man. We don't give a damn. No. We, we, man, it's been allegations about you for years. Bro. <laughs> so if that's what you like, hey, go ahead and bring, bring it out, man. Oh no. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, you just thought we'd get us canceled. <laughs> nah, I ain't said nothing bad. Uh, but listen, have, you, have I said anything no, crazy? No, 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 you have not. Exactly. But this, this is what I don't like exactly. about this, right? It's not a handbook to this stuff. 
Like they just, oh, you're not supposed to say that. Or, you're not supposed to do that. Oh, we need to put this in this type of form. And then you cancel. I ain't said nothing bad. Uh, all that's I what I'm said, saying. All I said was, if you yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, you well, not encouraging them. Yeah, you right. You yeah. not saying nothing bad, but they're they're flipping and dipping and all this other stuff just because. Man, I got them right. That's, <laughs> that's that's what you like to do. You do it. <laughs> Don't be in the dark with it, man. Come on out. Come on out. <laughs> man, like, well, nobody it's a different damn. world. It's a different. I don't like give a damn. Just don't try me. Oh my God! I've been trying to hold it. Oh, uh, J. Cole, man, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear these messages man, that you got, J. Cole. Well, I'm, I'm still strong to the bottom, brother. Oh, man, the messages you say the text messages today is wild. Oh, wild! I'm seeing my wild stuff. I'm still scrolling up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about the wild hour text messages, buddy. Oh, you need to go to Google and type in Dwight Howard. Nah, I'm good on that. Nah, I'm talking about J. Cole me uh, messages. I ain't no, know. I moved off of Dwight. Yeah. 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 Run, do a little. Mm. Yeah. Don't run, brother. Give <laughs> me your truth, man. Bruh. See, I need to pull over for this one. Who said that? Who said that? I need to pull over that one. <laughs> Oh, I need to pull yeah, over there. Bro. Boy, for real. Oh my God, man. Y'all are crazy, man. Um, you got some messages yet, uh, Jay? Uh I'm 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 in twenty seventeen, bro. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Well Tim, what y'all think about uh uh Bama SEC Media Day while we strolling down? Mm. Strolling. I was a fan. Lane Lane Kiffin is tripping though. Well Lane. <laughs> you gotta know Lane. Let's Lane Kiffin is tripping, man. Talking about he one of them coaches that's on that NIL that ruined college football, bro. In the portal, bro. You have three five stars from the portal, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bro? You have three five stars from the portal. Yeah, he he got to be quiet on that, bro. <clears throat> See, I think y'all gotta realize, bro. Lane Kiffin played mind games, like yeah. He played man. He played. Uh, he played them, them them type of games that was like, I knew I was gonna get you, type stuff. Gotcha. Now, solution to it afterwards, I don't think he has a plan afterwards. But while it's going on, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get that reaction. Like I've ne like before Lane got there, like Nick was not like like Jim McElwain. He was never on the field with us. Like he was always in a box. Yeah. So I let you know, like he had to have him next to him, like, hey, bro, some of this stuff that you're doing, we ain't gonna let this, we ain't gonna let this go on, bro. Wait, what? Say that again, because I was there with Clay. No, no, no. no, I was saying, Coach Saban, his office coordinator has always been up in the box. For Lane Kiffin to be on the field, but if you know Lane, Lane is his his coaching is all he's always been on the field like that. Even as a coordinator? Yeah, he's always been like that. When he was at USC, he was on the field? Yeah, he's always been like that, hands-on. Mm -hmm. like Lane is very hands-on. How do you see the whole field like that, though? You got to ask somebody that you trust, but but he got, he really came on the field when Blake was the quarterback. Yeah. He, he had to talk to Blake every play. Sometimes he'd be on the sideline, hey, Blake, let's go to this. Nah, nah, I'm not even being funny. I know, but I'm I just, I, I, here. Hmm? I know you ain't trying to be funny, but I... At the end, once uh, Jake Coker became quarterback, he was still on the field. Once, well, who was next up? Jalen? Same way. Mm -hmm. He's always been on the field. Mm -hmm. He calls the plays now. He calling the plays out there? Yeah. You can't tell. So, J. Cole, what you got for me, man? What you what you think is going to go on? I'm, I, it's hard, you know, when you're an analyst like myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you try to, to be as unbiased as possible. And I just can't do it when it comes to Alabama football. Like, I I can't wait for Alabama and Georgia to play again so Alabama can win. Mm. Well, my thing and, about that, bro. Go ahead, my bad. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. You said it, brother. No, my thing about it, man, people talking like Bama got beat by Georgia twice or something. Oh, here we go. 
for more than once. Got like, three minutes before you start your rent. I don't know. I ain't been starting on rent, but they got to realize, but we have only been beat by them once on some, okay, it done happened. Okay, cool. Let's get on to the next thing. All right, let me say this. Go ahead. We're still the kings of college football. Of course. But they're the princes. Ha, come that. on now. I'm not mad at that. Two, two times. Two ranks in a row. That shit stank, don't it? It don't. <laughs> it don't. Not to me. Because <laughs> it stank on it. LeBron said that. It don't to me, bro, because it's like, bro, y'all, they still got to get past the Clemson phase. Did Clemson win two in a row? No, nah, but they won okay, two. Then. But not in a row. Not in a row. I mean, that's a Georgia do, phase. That ain't Clemson phase. That's Georgia phase. All right, then. Let's go wrap it up, Bucko. Let's wrap it up, Let's wrap it up, Bucko. Go, Buck. Let's wrap it up, Bucko. Rhythm spoons. <laughs> Go buff. Well, I tell you what, man. Well, listen, we'll talk more about this tomorrow uh, on our Friday edition, man. Listen, you are being with the ropes with TR3 with Reggie Ragnar, nephew over here, Mr. Takeman himself in the church league MVP, the one and only J. Cole, man. But y'all got to realize, man, listen, we'll be out here tomorrow. So y'all tune in, man, with the ropes with TR3. I still don't like that print.